Kevin Jr. is on a relentless mission to avenge anyone who wronged his mother, Wendy Williams, and now Ray J finds himself in the crosshairs. Everyone knows about Ray J's tumultuous relationship with Wendy, but Kevin Jr. holds Ray J accountable for Wendy's health problems. Kevin Hunter has allegedly claimed that Ray J was the one who turned Wendy into a drug addict by constantly supplying her with substances. This has turned into a significant scandal, and Kevin Jr. is not backing down. He's suing Ray J for drugging Wendy Williams, despite medical warnings against it. Kevin Jr. asserts that Ray J is the main reason Wendy is in such a dire condition, demanding severe penalties or imprisonment for Ray J. Stay tuned as we delve into what Kevin Hunter revealed about Ray J's involvement in Wendy's drug use. There's been a lot of turmoil surrounding Wendy Williams lately, with some shady dealings coming to light. But brace yourselves, because this latest revelation about Ray J is explosive. Wendy's ex, Kevin Hunter, dropped a bombshell, alleging that Ray J might have played a role in her recent health issues by supplying her with drugs. Knowing about her long-standing addiction struggles, Kevin didn't hold back in exposing Ray J's alleged shady connections to Wendy. Now, let's dive into the juicy details. Kevin isn't the only one spilling secrets about Ray J and Wendy. Stunna Girl was the first to air the dirty laundry. She and Ray J have been in a heated feud, with Stunna accusing him of mistreating women he worked with. She went so far as to accuse him of some seriously shady behavior, saying, you pay for hoes all day, but won't pay your team. You're a professional John. You even had Sue sign an NDA after you got intimate with her. Bees can't be on your network unless they're pleasing you. You're the biggest creep of them all. Ray J has remained silent amid these wild and shady allegations. Hollywood is no stranger to tales of powerful men using their influence for favors. This drama has been brewing for a while and reached a peak when Stunna made serious accusations, claiming Ray J exacerbated Wendy's substance abuse problems. We all know that addiction struggles are no joke, and Stunna didn't hold back, asserting that Ray J played a part in worsening Wendy's situation. Instead of constantly worrying about me, Ray J needs to focus on what he did to Wendy Williams. She hasn't been the same since you took her on that binge. This news sparked a storm of controversy, especially with the current focus on women's health issues. To add fuel to the fire, back in February, Wendy's team dropped another bombshell. It turns out Wendy has been diagnosed with dementia. They announced that in 2023, after undergoing extensive medical tests, Wendy was officially diagnosed with primary progressive aphasia and front temporal dementia, FTD. These conditions impact her language, communication, behavior, and cognitive functions, posing significant challenges in Wendy's life. This news hit hard, but it wasn't entirely unexpected, given the whispers leading up to the official announcement. Wendy has been battling addiction for what feels like forever, so maybe we shouldn't have been completely shocked. However, fans were quick to judge, criticizing her for not overcoming her addiction, which was unfair because we all know that overcoming addiction is no easy task. Things took a darker turn when it was revealed that her inner circle was exacerbating the situation, practically handing her drinks and profiting from her struggles. One of the first to spill the tea was DJ Buff, Wendy's show DJ. Remember back in 2020, when he abruptly left the show without explanation? That had everyone buzzing. DJ Buff, Wendy's longtime DJ, walked away because he couldn't stand watching producers and managers do nothing to help Wendy while she was struggling. Uh, how you doing? Halloween comp, uh, costume contest, we do it every year. So it was a lot of fun. Let's get started. Our first caress. A fan commented on Instagram, Wendy, you need to stop your show and seriously get help. Your team is just watching you spiral, instead of helping you. Shame on them. Another fan responded, she doesn't listen to them. Probably why DJ Buff left the show. DJ Buff himself then replied, yep, exactly, and it will all come out. You have no idea what's really going on, and everyone there is afraid to speak up, because they don't want to lose their jobs. This is going to play out badly. I feel sorry for the workers. Have a blessed day, y'all. Rumors have been circulating that Wendy's inner circle might have actually encouraged her addiction, thinking it would make her easier to control. Despite her efforts in rehab and time spent in a halfway house, she couldn't break free. With Stunna stirring the pot with all these new revelations, fans are now wondering if Ray J might have been one of those enablers. To catch you up, Wendy and Ray J have been close for years, sparking whispers about something more than just friendship, perhaps even a secret romance. They have always maintained they are just good friends, but their dynamics are definitely interesting. Ray J has been a constant presence 
presence during Wendy's tough times, often appearing in photos with her, sometimes looking distant himself. Now, let me be clear, I'm not confirming Stunna's accusations about Ray J's role in Wendy's struggles as fact. I'm just passing on the buzz and speculation. Still, fans can't help but notice a strange and somewhat eerie pattern. Ray J seems to have a knack for being around female celebrities during their battles with substance issues. Take Whitney Houston, a true icon who faced her own struggles, especially towards the end of her life. Who was right there with her through it all? You guessed it, Ray J. Just like with Wendy, Ray J and Whitney shared a close bond that sparked all kinds of speculation about something more than friendship. Some folks even labeled him her boy toy. Ray J consistently denied these rumors, saying they were just friends. In the days leading up to Whitney's tragic overdose, they were spotted together, fueling endless gossip about their relationship. Ray J was one of the last people to see Whitney alive, adding another layer to the mystery around their connection. As for Whitney's autopsy, it revealed some unsettling inconsistencies that suggested there might have been more to her story than initially disclosed. She had superficial abrasions on her forehead and nose, along with cuts on her left arm, hand, and shoulder. Furthermore, pathologist Deborah W. pointed out a puzzling detail from Whitney Houston's autopsy. The water in the bathtub where she was found was nearly boiling, making it highly unlikely for her to have comfortably sat in it. This revelation cast serious doubt on the conclusions from the final autopsy report. W. said straight up, there's no way she would have sat in that boiling water. I think this lady fell into the water, unconscious. He stated, I do not not believe that the death was due to drowning. Then there's a disturbing report from a private investigator revealing defensive wounds on Whitney's body, a claim backed up by Jaguar Wright, who insists Whitney didn't die in a bathtub as initially reported. Her, she was beat. They saw her body. She didn't just die in a tub, like, she was beat. Naturally, fans are now speculating about Ray J's possible involvement with Whitney Houston, given the recent mental health revelations. Some are wondering if Ray could have played a role in that situation as well. Meanwhile, Kevin Hunter isn't holding back. He seems to be confirming allegations that Ray J might have been involved in Wendy's struggles. Say what you will about Kevin Hunter, but one thing's for sure, he's been by Wendy's side from the beginning and likely knows the full story. However, Kevin's credibility is shaky due to his history with Wendy, where his motives might have been less than noble, especially when it comes to her money. He's spilling things like, Wendy was in rehab and these people just stopped depositing my money cold turkey. They have tried to starve me out. At the end of the day, I earned that money and I'm not letting them take it. I know she is not in a good place and is surrounded by people who are taking advantage of her condition, including the so-called guardianship. He also tried to take Wendy's money when he called her out for not paying him alimony, saying, I have fallen behind on most of my bills. I'm behind on credit card payments because I have no money since the severance payments were suspended. My life has been greatly affected since the plaintiff stopped making payments under a settlement agreement. The fact that I am unable to sustain my life and pay my bills is extremely urgent to me. I can not pay my bills and sustain my day-to-day -day living. Given Kevin's complicated history with Wendy, he might not be the most reliable source on this matter. Yet, he has been a constant presence in Wendy's life since the beginning. According to him, Ray J allegedly serves as Wendy's handler, supposedly responsible for her recurrent stints in rehab. Allegedly, every time Wendy comes out of rehab ready to start fresh, Ray J reappears with new substances, pulling her back into that destructive cycle. Kevin suggests that powerful figures in the industry prefer Wendy subdued because it makes her easier to control. This bombshell from Kevin stirred up a storm among fans, sparking all kinds of discussion and debate. One fan commented, Ray J is clearly a handler. They sent him to monitor things or finish the job because why is he always around the biggest celebrities at their lowest moments? Another fan said, What Stunna Girl says about Ray J putting Wendy Williams on a drug binge doesn't surprise me because when Whitney Houston passed, I heard the same rumors of him being involved in her relapse. It's very interesting that Stunna Girl is coming out of nowhere implying that Ray J has something to do with Wendy Williams' current condition, especially since he happened to be with Whitney Houston right before her death. But I'm curious to hear your take on all of this. Do you believe Kevin Hunter's claims, or do you think it's just another way for him to get his hands on Wendy's money? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and make sure you stay tuned for the next video.